Story The Legend of the Coffee Tree Once upon a time, in a certain land where rivers and waterfalls met, there lived a small village. They live peacefully next to the green corn and cassava fields in the mountains and forests. The land of boys skilled in hunting, girls skilled in weaving, everyone living closely together. The children of the village at night in the wrong house are still told stories by the elders about the brave children of the village who eliminated wild animals and brought a prosperous life to everyone. Spring is when wild flowers bloom everywhere, in the gentle spring rain, the sounds of gongs and gongs rise loudly, signaling the beginning of the sowing season and the beginning of the festival season. The fire in the wrong house never goes out, the jar of wine that needs to be drunk never runs out, everyone holds hands, dances, sings to pray for a good harvest. The rain and the sun go on but don't forget the road. Come back so that the corn will be full of grain, the rice will be heavier, the river god will be gentle, and the wild animals will stay away from the village. A new day, when the bright rays of the morning sun shine down on the still sinking forest. In the thick fog, from the wrong house, the village elder beat a gong to call everyone to come. When everyone had gathered in front of the wrong house, the village elder spoke. Today our village received good news. A child was just born, a son. Being a son of this village must have plenty of wisdom and courage. Having the strength of a lobster or a bear, the endurance of a snake or python, and running legs as far as a deer, that is worthy of being a child of the village. Then everyone walked towards the beginning. In the village, the boys' bathing ceremony took place next to the roaring waterfall. After the village elder called out to invite the river god and mountain god to recognize and protect the boy, everyone took turns patting the boy's head and wishing him good wishes. In the mother's arms, the boy kicked very hard. Looking at the strong, healthy boy with shiny brown skin, wide mouth, bright eyes, everyone said. It is true that he is a child of this village, not long ago. Soon it will be like what the village elder said. The boy grew up as healthy as any child in the village. At the age of three, he lost his father. With the help of everyone in the village, his and his mother's life became less difficult. Growing up surrounded by everyone's love, he loved his village very much. Time passed by, soon he became a healthy young man, a nightingale of the mountains and forests. The village elders gave me a lot of hunting experience. Although he is a good hunter, he never harms gentle animals. The deer in the forest consider him a close friend. They hang around and play with him every time he goes into the forest. When he started singing, the birds stopped singing, the fish in the stream also stopped swimming, and the deer herd had to stop for fear of falling into the abyss. The sound of singing made everyone in the village forget all their fatigue after a hard day working in the fields. One day, when a peaceful life was going on, a sudden disaster struck. One early morning, when the boys were still removing traps in the forest, the girls were washing cloth by the stream, and the children were playing in front of Rong's house. Suddenly a strange bird flew in from nowhere, its wings spread out to cover them. Hiding the whole sky, wherever it flew, the wind from its Wings made the forest trees tilt there, its legs with big and sharp claws like spear blades. From above it roared down into the middle of the village. In the middle of the village. Suddenly screams rang out everywhere, many houses collapsed, many people were taken away by ferocious birds, panic appeared on everyone's faces. 
The village guard ordered everyone to flee into the forest to avoid the evil birds from returning, but the brave boys decided to stay. They vowed to destroy the evil birds to protect the village. Their weapons were prepared spears and arrows. Large traps were set out, big tree trunks were erected everywhere. The next morning, the ferocious bird followed the old path again. When it swooped down in the middle of the village, its feet were immediately caught in a large trap that had been set up. Arrows and spears from all directions rushed towards the tree trunks. It was so loud that it crashed down on its body. Injured and angry, ferocious birds destroyed the houses. Faced with a large and ferocious enemy, the boys still fought tenaciously but their weapons could not defeat the evil birds. Many people were killed and carried away by the evil birds. Seeing the evil birds kill many people, life was peaceful and happy. The village elders no longer have to lead everyone to find a new land. Leaving behind the land that had been with them for many generations, the village embarked on a dangerous journey full of hardships, with many dangers waiting for them ahead. Hunger, thirst, and disease exhausted and knocked down many people along the way. They kept walking and walking, but the new land had not yet appeared, only the dark old forest became more and more dense. At night, next to the fire to dispel the numbing cold, People leaned on each other in a fitful sleep because of the wild animals surrounding them. The village elder's hair has turned white, his eyes are sunken, every night he still sits quietly by the fire to watch for everyone and when morning comes, he leads the group on the road. But then the food they brought with them ran out, fear and despair covered the group. Seeing that his beloved village was suffering so much from the evil birds, the young man decided to go out and eliminate the evil birds to save the village. Faced with his will, the mother could only wipe away her tears. The village elder sat thoughtfully for a moment and then said, I know your will, but your enemy is a thousand times bigger than you, it is very ferocious how people had to give up because they had nothing to fight it. I heard the ancients say that on the highest and farthest mountain peak, where white clouds cover it all year round, there is a very sacred iron. On bright days, the sky can see its light sparkling, only that iron. Only by making a sword can we fight the enemy but the road to get there is full of dangers and not everyone can reach it. What do you think? The young man replied. Old man, my mind is made up no matter how difficult it is. I don't mind. Then saying goodbye to his old mother and everyone, the young man left in the direction the old man pointed, crossing rushing rivers and fierce waterfalls, his feet walking towards the setting sun. The jungle was dense, sharp thorns pierced his skin, jungle vines clung to his footsteps, and wild animals followed his trail, but thanks to his cunning, they could not stop his footsteps. Then one day his footsteps also reached the top of the highest mountain. Before the sacred, Iron Man's eyes appeared brilliantly under the sunlight, all physical pain seemed to disappear. Holding the sacred iron in his hand, it was as if a stream of strength flowed through his body, the journey back seemed to be shorter. The whole village was happy to welcome the young man back, the village elder said in front of everyone. The village should look at its beloved son. Our child has brought back the sacred iron. No animal can harm it. It is thanks to the river god and mountain god's mercy that he was able to bring this sacred iron back. Let's all light that big fire. Then everyone gathered their strength to forge the sword. They worked day and night without stopping, 
Each person's heart was excited as if they had eliminated evil birds. On the day the magic sword was finished, after praying to the river and mountain gods to protect the boy, the village elder presented the sword to the boy on behalf of the village. In his hand, the sword suddenly shined brightly, holding the sword up, his body boiled with the will to destroy the enemy. The village contributed the last grains of rice to make a big ball of rice for the young man to take with him. Qua after many days of traveling in the direction of fallen trees, the young man finally reached the place where the evil birds were hiding. It was an extremely dangerous mountainous area. The ferocious bird was sleeping in a deep cave. The sound of its roaring breathing made the ground and rocks in front of the cave tremble. Anger surged. The young man rushed to the front of the cave and shouted loudly. The scream woke up the ferocious bird, smelling human flesh it roared out from the cave. Seeing that he was just a small human being standing in front of the cave, the ferocious bird rushed forward. It swung its giant beak down on his head. Like a squirrel, he quickly dodged the sword blade in his hand that he swung out to one side. The evil bird's beak was cut off by the sword. The angry bird became angry, it rushed into the air, spread its wings and flapped strongly. The wind from the wings made large rocks crash into the boy's body. Without flinching, the young man swung his sword, under the sword's shining path, the rocks shattered at his feet. Suddenly, the ferocious bird rushed in to attack with sharp claws like spears. The battle took place very fiercely, the sky darkened and the vast land was devastated, the rivers and waterfalls boiled and cheered, giving the boy strength. For seven days and seven nights, the battle between humans and wild birds has not been won or lost, and both sides are gradually exhausted. On the evil bird's body, there was only one claw left as a weapon. The boy's whole body was full of wounds. On the eighth day, a thought suddenly flashed in his mind. One time the evil bird rushed at the young man, he used all his strength to throw the sword at the evil bird, the blade cut through the wind and hit the evil bird's chest. That was also the time when the fierce bird's sharp claws and its body collapsed on him. Boys. The boy's blood mixed with the blood of the ferocious bird flowed down the river red. The boiling river gushed red water over a large area. When the village arrived, the young man and the sword were nowhere to be seen, only the corpse of a ferocious bird lying dead beside the rushing red river. Standing in front of the corpse of the evil bird, the village elder spoke to everyone. O oh village, the beloved child of our village is no longer there, he has transformed. Into the trees, rivers, streams, mountains and forests to bring a peaceful life to them. We, our village, are proud to have a brave son. He will live forever in our hearts, always by our side. Every time the village is in danger, it will always protect us. The boy's mother was very sad, but she was very proud to have a brave son who continued the village's tradition of heroic children. It will live forever in the hearts of her and everyone. From then on, the village lived a peaceful life, a life in a new land where evil birds were destroyed. Where the boy and the evil bird fell, a strange tree grew. The tree grew so fast that it soon shone luxuriantly. Its flowers bloomed white and bunches of fruit filled with branches. When eaten, people felt like they were eating. A power flows through. That land is today's central highlands and that strange tree is the coffee tree, a plant with strong vitality in this red land.
It is in this land that every night in the wrong house, the children of the village are still told by the elders about the example of the young man and the heroic children of the village next to the majestic Trong Sun Range. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.